Hello, my name is Dr. Brooke Bantaran and I am an obstetrics and gynecology doctor and I'm here today to answer your common questions about what to expect from your periods after giving birth. So the first really common question is when can we expect to see our periods again after brown beds? Well, the answer to this does vary somewhat between woman to woman and it depends on how you're feeding your baby. So if you are not breastfeeding your baby at all, you can expect your periods to start anywhere between three and five weeks after giving birth. But it may take a little bit longer to kick in, especially if you do maybe give a couple of breastfeeds at the beginning. If you are breastfeeding your baby, and particularly if you're exclusively breastfeeding your baby, each time your baby latches to the breast, it, it triggers the release of a hormone called prolactin. That hormone actually prevents the hormones that are involved in ovulation from working. So if you don't ovulate, you don't release an egg, then you don't see your period two weeks later. So if you are breastfeeding regularly, and that means every three to four hours throughout the day and the night, and you're not giving your baby any other forms of, uh, of milk, so not giving expressed milk and not giving formula milk from a bottle, then you may not see your periods at all. For the majority of women who are exclusively breastfeeding, their periods come back around six to nine months after giving birth. But for some women, their periods won't reappear at all until they completely stop breastfeeding. So it does vary from person to person, but it's just something to be aware of. Now, the next common concern is, can I get pregnant whilst I'm breastfeeding? Now, in order to get pregnant, you need to ovulate. And the month that you ovulate, if you were to conceive that month, you would never see your period. So it is possible to get pregnant even if you aren't having periods because you don't know which month you're going to ovulate again for the first time. And if you catch that egg, then you'll get pregnant. And that is the reason we would say that even if you are exclusively breastfeeding and you haven't got any other forms of contraception, you can still get pregnant even if you're not seeing your periods. For the majority of people, you won't because the majority won't be ovulating. But there's not really any clear way of knowing if you are going to accidentally ovulate without really realising it. And that much you could get pregnant. So what I would advise is even if you're exclusively breastfeeding, have an additional type of contraception on top of that if you don't plan to become pregnant. The next question that people commonly ask is, how can I get pregnant if my periods haven't come back from breast after breastfeeding? Well, what? What I would suggest is you can make a few changes to the way that you do your feeds to help your periods to return. Now, as I said before, you need to be breastfeeding every three to four hours throughout the day and night in order for those prolactin levels to stay high. And if those prolactin levels stay high, you won't see your period. So what we want to do if we want the periods to come back is to allow those levels to dip again. So what you may want to do is to try to get space the feeds out for the baby. Not always that easy because when a baby's hungry, we want to feed them. So what you might choose to do is if you're really trying to bring back your periods, you may prefer to replace some of their breast feeds with bottle feeds, but you can still give them expressed milk. Uh, so it doesn't have to be formula, but we can give your baby, for example, a bottle um, in between those times. Or of course, if your baby is already weaned, so your baby is older than six months old, then giving them food uh, instead of a breastfeed and some water maybe. So you're not replacing all of the milk that they have, but just stretching out the intervals that they're suckling on the nipple will reduce the like pit that prolactin is released. And the other thing you can do, again, is during the night feeds, they're probably a little bit more important for your periods than the daytime feeds. So if you find that you are feeding your baby kind of every two hours during the night, what you may want to do is try to swap out with somebody else. So if you've got a partner, that they could maybe give your baby some of the feeds or try to settle them in the night time. So not every time that they wake up, they're, they're receiving a breastfeed. That will help to lower those levels of prolactin and help for periods to return. I know, easier said than done, but it's important if you are trying to get pregnant at this time. So what changes can you expect in your periods after birth, if any? Well, for some people, their periods do return and then they just go straight back to normal. But many of us do notice that our periods are slightly different in the first few cycles after your periods return. You may find that your periods are more irregular, so when you get one period, then you don't see another one for a couple of months. Obviously, make sure you do a pregnancy test to make sure you're not pregnant. But it is it's not unusual for your period to be a bit irregular at the start, just like when you first started to have periods. Another thing you may note, they might be much heavier than before you gave birth. Rest assured, for the vast majority of people, this does settle down over time, but it's just something to keep an eye on. I would allow a couple of cycles for the changes to settle down, so sort of three to four months of having real periods. If they still aren't back to normal, and still go and see your doctor because there's lots that can be done to help you.